Hi Virgo, we're coming to you with a weekly reading. Um, this reading is meant for anyone who has Virgo strongly in their chart. Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus. All right, let's get going. Looking at Virgo. Virgo, what's on the table for you next week? What's it's next week because I'm doing this the day before that week starts. <laughs> um, what's on the table for you this week? What's on the table for you this week? Queen of Cups. Starting out in the Queen of Cups. Queen of Cups. All right, let's see what's here for Virgo. What's here for Virgo? That's looking in on Virgo energy. Looking in on the Virgo people, the Virgo consciousness. High Priestess, yep, that was, I was going to say, what's happening here? Well, it's the High Priestess. Ace of Wands. Ace of Wands. Let's make sure these are all straight here. Ace of Wands. Nine of Swords. You got darn Nine of Swords. Ace of Pentacles flipped over. Two of Wands. Is there a change coming in? Or a new addition? Two of Swords. Two twos here. Page of Cups. Page of Cups. I like that. Eight of Pentacles. Okay, Virgo, let's see how this next week is going to um, is going to kind of turn out for, for this group of Virgos that I've connected in with. Uh, just a reminder that this is a general reading, but hopefully there's information here that will help you as you're moving forward. As you're moving into this week, you're, you're in the energy of the Page of Cups. And so this is your energy. This is your energy down at the bottom here. And so we have you at a, in a healthier place. Uh, your heart is strong. There's something here that's happening in life where you're feeling better uh, than you've felt before. I don't know if it's a new introduction that's come in for you or if it's new health and and um, and, and revival. Uh, there's just something here that feels good. It feels better. And I, I think you're in a stronger position than you were before. It's happier anyway. And I think that it does have this, I'm, I'm being drawn to looking here. It does have you in this place of happiness. And, and maybe you're realizing like it's not, not all super, um, it's not all great, but there's qualities here that really are refreshing for you. And it's enough to help lift you up, to uplift you, to um, bring you into a new space. And, and I think you're fine. Uh, I think you're fine knowing that some elements of this aren't completely right yet, but hey, you're feeling better. The situation's getting um, better. We can see that with the Four of Cups in reverse. And I think there's a little bit of a turnaround here. Uh, but there's a springing forward or an uplifting energy, whether it's new love, whether it's new health, whether it's um, the 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 um, the magic of a child, how children can help uplift us, whatever it is, it's really helping to, to uplift, uplift. I'm just seeing like uh, lifting up. Uh, it's a, and here, look at these hands, same kind of energy here. Um, there's something that's going on around or in your life or around in your life um, that has you a little bit worried. Um, this is really about, I feel like there's a queen of cups here, Virgo. I feel like this is probably you. Um, it could be someone else, but I feel like it's probably you. Um, you're in a space where you're you're recognizing that what's going on around you um, might have taken away some of the safety that you felt, or or some sort of belief that you had. Um, it could have come into your life and and 
created earthquakes in your life in one way or another um, with, the, with the Queen of Cups. But we have the Queen of Cups here connecting into the Page of Cups. So I really do think that there is a situation that is getting better. Are you still worried? Are you still concerned? Does it still keep you up at night? Absolutely. And I think that there's probably some changes that you're going to continue to make here. But I think that there is this new um, health uh, strength that's coming in, brought in by something, a child. Uh, again, I don't want to go back into that energy, but it, there's something here that's really helped to bring um, a, a freshness and a new um A rejuvenation of the heart uh, and and I feel like for many of you Virgo you are in the Queen of Cups position and you understanding that the situations in our environments with our families our workplaces the communities the uh, the things that are going on in the world around us have in so many ways uh, really created a lot of aftershocks and earthquakes um, in how we feel in our safety um, what's in our safety zone? <laughs> was it a zone or was it really safe? Like there's like some rebuilding after a shakeup, I would have to say. And but as you're moving through the week, I really do see that you're kind of you're kind of growing to kind of like whatever's going on around you. There's a situation that is getting better, or maybe there's a situation that's going away. Whatever it's doing, whether it's going away or whether it's getting better, I think that it's. It, it, it's a war is it's very much a warm welcome you have a warm welcome for this newfound um i think that you're starting to enjoy this newfound enjoyment um i think you're realizing that there's something something is coming in and helping in this in this situation something is here to help you in this situation whether it's you whether it's a doctor whether it's a lover there there's just someone here that's that's here uh, to help you um, uh, as you're moving through the week, I think there's a decision to be made, what to do, what to do about this, um, how to continue to um, improve it. I, I do think that there's some sort of option here that you're really kind of deciding, well, do I do this or do I do that? Do I set my appointment for next week or do I set it for three weeks from now? I mean, I, it could be something quite small, but it is a decision. And I think that this decision does go back to, to really looking at your health, um, looking at the situation and, and continuing to move into a better place. So I think that there is some sort of a strategy decision about what to do and how to do it. Um, but I don't see, I, I really think that you're okay with making a decision um, as you're moving to the end of the week. You're really in this very uh, focused place. You're working hard, you're, you're strong, um, you're staying um, in your own lane. Whatever this situation is, it's it, it it's not impacting your work or it's not impacting your focus. You know you're okay. You know this situation is okay. But what is the truth of it still? I think there's some truth here to still come out. There's there's some truth here for you to still recognize. But because you're in this strong focus position, understanding the importance of really applying yourself at this time, staying focused, staying hard at work, not letting anyone really take you off your game, um, I do think in a mit, uh, midst that there is some information that's going to be brought forward to you that will help you to feel stronger, to feel better, to maybe you're even developing some sort of a plan. And whenever we have the two of swords, uh, it's really this ability to overcome the fear of what is inside the information. A lot of times with the two of swords, um, yeah, I was going to say that the eyes are covered, the eyes are covered and there's all kinds of um, contingencies that we have um, and we have fear and we, we just sometimes prefer not to know the truth uh, but I think that that is all able for you to handle at that time you're you're strong the next the um, Virgo the the end of next the, the end of next week around the 15th end of the 16th even the 14th um, and leaving a little w wiggle room for timing uh, I think you're going to be in a power position um, you're going to be really reflecting deep within yourself and really understanding what your truth is and having the strength to make some really 
um, important decisions and look at the real truth of the situation. Because here's a beautiful thing. Um, there is a rejuvenation here with the Ace of Wands. There's something new that you're connecting into um, that's extremely, I was. I heard the word viable. It, it's extremely promising. It, it's extremely exciting. And I think that you're, you're realizing that there is this new um, opportunity here that is is in many ways putting you into action into action into strength into moving forward with that fire in the belly um and and there is something here that you're working on and i think you're realizing like it's important for me to see the truth because i don't really have any more time to to play around with this i don't really have any more time to have this distract me i need to know what the truth is so i can make the best decision to move forward and i think you're strong enough to see it there's no more denial, I'm not saying there was, but the two of swords has that kind of quality. There's none of that anymore. There's something here that's worth um, worth st having. And because it's so worth having, you're really able to um, look at the situation um, in a very practical sense so that you can move forward with it. Um, before, um, before I move to the extended, I do want to go into a couple of cards here. Sorry, I sighed and I do feel like a little bit of a heaviness here. Um, there are some lingering after effects of, of this situation. I want to go into the Nine of Swords. Nine of Swords, I usually don't go in there, but I'm just wondering why is this still here? It could be that the problem isn't totally solved yet. There's something new coming in and you're realizing you, you're in this new strength and there's something exciting happening but there's still underlying some underlying issues um, that really are kind of coming to the top now. Let's go ahead and see what this is. Eight of Swords, Queen of Wands. Well, you have the, there's the fiery personality. There, this is the right time, Virgo. You have that inside of you, this fiery ability to step through um, there's that old ties that bind phrase that's coming up again, coming from that hymn, blessed, blessed are, now I can't remember the whole words, but um, it's how I, I originally learned about the Eight of Swords. Uh, Spirit said, what's the opposite of blessed are the, blessed be the ties that bind? Well, ties that bind can really bind us from our own success. They can bind us from our own authenticity. They can blind us from our own belief, bind us from our own belief system. They can really keep us trapped in an old mindset. Um, and I feel like it, the, the timing is here, the strength is here, that you're really able to kind of move through some of these old parameters that were here for you before. Um, are you still worried about it? Yeah, the Eight of Swords is hard because <laughs> whenever you unwrap these binds that tie, whenever you unwrap the binds that tie, they affect other people. Usually it affects other people. And so uh, I really do think that you're considering all the things that, that are going on um, and you, but you're going within yourself, staying strong here and moving into a new position of, of excitement and passion and, um, strength, I would say, with the, with the Ace of Wands. Let's go into the Ace of Wands and see if there's more information coming out. Um, for those that are really connecting in with the Ace of Wands, um, let's see what's here for you. Should I use my sticker cards too? <laughs> They're so juvenile. I'm always embarrassed when I use them, but I like to see these different images coming in. Oh, yeah. Three of Swords was under the thumb. It's not coming in. I lifted my thumb. It's under the thumb. But there is some, you know, there is something to be recognized here with the Three of Swords. There is pain here still. There is pain here still. And it's going to linger and you're going to feel it as you're moving into this new, um, oh, what are these? I didn't recognize these were down. <sighs> Well, I mean, there's a story here. You really have managed to um, break free of some sort of society restraint or community 
consciousness or some sort of religious control or familial desires for you. Um, you have broken, it could even have been a working style, a love style where you basically end up being the end all be all for someone else and you're exhausted and you're don't see any way out. Like you've made your, you've made your way out of the maze of misery. Um, and you've done this in a way that, I mean, it revealed everything about you. It revealed a lot about you, uh, it revealed a lot about you to the people around you. And it revealed a lot about you to yourself. And in this process, it's helping you to, um, step into like a new version of yourself with clarity, with freedom, with the ability to step further um, into your own limelight. And this is something you're very protective about what's happening here. You're protective. You could be a little bit closed mouthed. You could be a little bit careful about who you were talking to, who knows about this. It's something that you're really interested in and you're willing to focus on it. And you've come this far through this process of, uh, moving yourself through this maze of misery into freedom. Once you've gone through this path, it's real hard to think about ever stepping back into that kind of a lifestyle or that kind of a situation. Good job. Good job, Virgo. You guys are doing amazing work here. Really amazing work here. All right. Uh, I am going to move forward now into the extended reading. Um, I am going to be digging deeper. I think I'm going to be digging a little deeper into this Ace of Wands. I'd like to know a little bit more about the Ace of Wands. And I'll probably pull some of those picture cards I have to give us some, some ideas um, for what this Ace of Wands could be. And I, I want to go into the Two of Wands too and see if there's something we can find for this decision that you're making. Um, and maybe the Page of Cups too. So in the extended, I'm going to go Ace of Wands, Two of Wands and the Page of Cups, and then we'll move the whole story forward. All right, Virgo, so um, I, I wish you guys all the best. I can see some really beautiful work happening here and some uh, um, a freedom, a freedom trail here. Uh, I think I said that word in the last weekly readings. I'm wondering if these stories are continuing. It's just really interesting. Um, all right. All right, Virgo, thank you very much. It's a pleasure to read for you. I look forward to next week's reading to see um, how you guys are all are doing. And for those that are interested in seeing how this energy plays out, the link to that is below in the video description box. All right, thank you very much, Virgo.